Hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy XIV. We last left off after visiting all of the uh, city-state leaders uh, to inform them of the memorial for the Battle of Kartno that uh, Khan A. Senna wanted to be held. So uh, we're just going to continue from that day, and uh, let's get on with the show. Ah, my Lord Envoy, I trust your stay in the Sultanate has been pleasant. Now, if you do not mind my asking, do you perchance have plans to visit Limsa Laminsa in the near future? If so, I have information that may be of interest to you. I once accompanied the Flame General on an official visit to the Seaside city-state, during which time I became acquainted with Badaron, the proprietor of the Drowning Wench. Well, the man sent word just now that he has a job for a capable adventurer. I can think of none with better credentials than you. Badron would doubtless be pleased were you to offer him your services. Okay, so we're heading off to Limsa Laminsa now to speak with Badron. I wonder what he's got for us. It's uh, a rather vague uh, invitation that I've just been offered. <laughs> right, so let's see. Uh, we don't want to go left as that will take us to the Alchemist's Guild. We want to go up this left, I believe. Uh, yep. Thought the door wasn't going open for a second there. <laughs> right. We'll just head up here. And uh, come through to the Optimist's Guild. Oh, crap. Uh, we've went the wrong way, apparently. Oh, well, never mind. We'll uh, grab the safe for Infinite Shard while we're here. <laughs> That's why this place uh, confuses me so much sometimes, especially the uh, upper floors. <laughs> I'm sure you remember uh, last episode when I uh, was trying to point you guys to the direction of the Alchemist Skilled uh, Ethernet and was struggling to uh, remember the way to get to it myself. But never mind. So we want to go over here to the Chamber of Rule. We could have used the Ethernet shard there, couldn't we really? Ah oh, well. And then uh, on to the left to get through to the airship landing. Just double check that we've got this one. Yep, we have it, of course we do. Right. And keep going this way. And back to the airship landing. Yes, I want to proceed. And where do we go? It's this person here. Uh, to Limsalo Mensa. 120 gil, okay. I have to pay for it now. <laughs> right, so here we are, just coming into Limsalo Mensa. And uh, then we'll find out where Badaron is. I really want to get rid of that helmet so badly it looks uh, terrible on me. <laughs> uh, right, so Badaron a drowning wench. Okay, proceed. Right, uh, batter on, batter on, batter on, batter on, where are you? You should be, at oh, there he is. Welcome to the Drone and Wench. Sit wherever you like, mate. I'll be with you in a... Hmm, hi, I'm battering all right. Who's asking? I heard as I've got a job for a capable venture, you see. Well, you're bloody right. Just so you're fairly warned, though, this ain't no job for the faint of art. Things are liable to get downright bleeding airy. But if you think you're still interested, let me know and I'll fill you in on the details. Alright, let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Just have... Well, actually, don't really need to compare it, do we? Uh, plus... Plus nine and... Wow, that's a quite big increase on just the defense. Wow, and four material slots as well. Don't believe we get material until uh, quite a bit later on, Vital. A mind until... Yep, definite upgrade, and I don't think it's a hoodie either. I uh, figured it out the uh, last time. Cannot equip the head, I'll tell you just here underneath uh, the class restrictions, whether or not it's a uh, hoodie or not. Right, so we'll uh, complete that. 
and we'll put that on straight away, I think. Oh, actually, in stone too. An upgrade version of the original stone spell, that's good. Uh, trade acquired stone mastery, and there was something else there that I didn't quite catch. But, uh, never mind. Now, what was it that we just acquired? I think it was this one, wasn't it, with the four, four materia slots? Alright. We'll just have a quick look in here, see if there's anything else that we've forgotten about. Nope, that's good, so we'll update our set. I thank you for taking the time to help me out. Now I'm sure you're busy, so I'll come straight to the point. Word has it, some suspicious looking buggers have been sneaking in and out of the Sustasha Seagrot, and I need a trustworthy sort to head up north of Vailport and find out who, who they are and what they're up to. Don't sound like much, I know. But it weren't so long ago as the Fishbacks Pet Pirates paid us an unwelcome visit and folk are feeling a bit nervous. If you would permit me, Master Badron, I should be happy to elaborate. Well, well, if it ain't the Chief Yellow Jacket himself. To what do I owe this rare honour, Commodore Reyna? Come to make sure me parents are behaving, or just thirsty? Neither, in fact. I was informed that you had requested an adventurer to assist in my investigation, and I came to offer what information I could sift from recent reports. Over the course of the past moon, there have been several sightings of an unfamiliar vessel off the coast of Vailport in the vicinity of the Isles of Umbra. This information came to my attention no more than a few weeks after a squad of my own soldiers had completed a routine patrol of the region, the Sastasha sea, sea Grot included. Their search revealed little, save that a family of coils had taken up residence in the caves, nothing to concern us in short. In light of recent developments, however, it would seem wise to search Sastasha again. But with the Sahagin testing our defences daily, I am loath to assign the task to the limited forces at my disposal, and while I as stretched as it is. Thus I sought the services of a competent adventurer to conduct an investigation in our stead. Any aid you can offer in this matter would be greatly appreciated. Then it is settled. Sastasha is located in Western Lanosia. For more detailed instructions on how to reach this place, I suggest you consult Vimelpa. She can be found at the ferry docks on the lower decks. You heard the man. Good luck to you, lad. Right, so uh, off to the ferry docks it is then, I guess. Uh, who or what is this person offering? I'm not going to take it, I just want to find out where it is. Uh, rooms of Dane. Ah, right, this is the Asphetistician, Asf the word that I can barely say. Don't leave that for another time, but uh, now we know what it's for. Oh, and there's something else there, rising to the challenge. What are you offering? Uh, the careless. Mm, not sure what that is, but we're going to decline it for the time being. And have a look at those things uh, later on down the line. As uh, we want to focus on the main story quest and uh, get back to our Conjurer quest line eventually. And it looks like we're facing the wrong way to go where we should be going. Uh, lower decks, where is it? Where are we heading? Right, so we want to head for the Fisherman's Guildy Fright. Now you see I said that uh, all that running about would be useful the other day, even if it did take quite a bit of time, just need to figure out where the nearest Ethernet is. Uh, the aft castle seems we already head that way, we could of course just use the culinarians, but never mind. We're going to use the aft castle now. And head straight down to the uh, Fisherman's Guild and find the Melpa. Bit of a more normal name than uh, all the Gridanians. <laughs> uh, Fisherman's Guild, there it is. Right, so it's behind me. And I think they said they were going to send me to some part of Lanosia. You hear about Commodore Reno's investigation, and you'll want to board a ferry bound for Aleport. Once you arrive in Western Lanosia, though, you'd best pay a visit to the Hall of the Novice before you blunder into Sastasha. The Adventurous Guild runs the hall, and the folk there will prepare you, train you with the skills you need to face the dangers undoubtedly waiting for you in the Sea Grot. The hall is on the way to Sastasha, just north of Aleport. Head inside, and one of their seasoned adventurers will take you in hand. Best of luck to you, friend. Right, well, before we do that, I think we're going to double-check that we've done our uh, Conjurer class quest, the most recent one, which should have been at level 15. Um, right, so this was actually a hoodie, which I thought wasn't earlier, but never mind. But we're going to uh, have a quick look at our journal, complete, and where is my class quests? Uh, Disciple of Magic. Yeah, we well, haven't done the level 15 one, so we'll get that one out of the way before we fall even further behind with that. 
Uh, so we're just, uh, yeah, teleporting you, Gridania. We've got set there. Otherwise, we could have used the uh, regular teleport option. So, uh, yeah, just use the if net again. To the Conjurer's Guild. So uh, down we go, and we'll try and fit uh, in at least one stage of the main story quest today as well. But I really want to uh, get this Conjurer quest up to date. <laughs> right, uh, wait, these Sumiyan's got something else for me, is that... Yeah, that must be the class quest. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, quite a few. Uh, oh, fluid aura binds the target. So I'm not sure what that means exactly by binds the target, but okay. It's good to see you again, Elric. By the aura you exude, it is plain that you have grown further as a conjurer. The time has come that you acquaint yourself with the third element of our art, water. For the first part of your lesson, you are to take this flask of pristine water and pour it at the foot of the hedge tree found near the Hawthorn Hut. The water's purity will draw forth the corrupting entity that is siphoning the tree's life force. Dispatch this being and then speak with Brother Joasin at the Hawthorn Hut. As you might expect, he is a conjurer with a fine ear for the murmurings of brook and stream. Listen well to his advice if you would learn to master the element of water. Okie dokie, so uh, Hawthorn Hut. Let's have a look. Do we have a uh, Ethernet shard somewhere nearby for to get there? Map. Uh... Oh, it's. Yes, we did pick that one up earlier. Yay! <laughs> right. So let's have a double check. We won't be facing this direction. And we'll get a sprint going on. <laughs> Become a bit of a. Uh catchphrase of mine, hasn't it? Getting a sprint going on. <laughs> right, let's see. Corrupted water. Uh, we've got all our skills ready. Uh, swift cast. Yeah, well, I think we always had that one, didn't we? Right. Yeah, pristine water. Use that. Right, what? There we go. See how long this guy takes uh, to finish off. Hopefully not that long. Seen as we're a little bit over leveled for the quest. <laughs> also, you might have noticed um, I've removed my chat log for uh, for these recordings, as I was uh, noticing that a few uh, gold seller uh, messages were getting through on the chat log, which uh, I didn't take the time to edit out. So I found that it's just going to be easier to uh, leave the chat log turned off while I record. And then it saves me uh, getting in any potential trouble. Because, of course, uh, we don't want to sell. We don't want to sell. We don't want to support gold sellers and any other uh, illegal activities in the game. So, uh, yeah, we'll just leave that turned off going forward. Now, yeah, just need to head back up there for uh, to hand this in. Don't think I can get up there. Right, so uh, just around this corner, and where is he? Where is he? Oh, we missed. He, oh, yeah, he, uh, must be inside the uh, hut. Let's have a look. The Hawthorn hut. <laughs> Greetings, Elric. Brother Isumi informed me of your coming. I assume it was you who purified the befouled water at the hedge tree. The joyous bubbling of the elementals was a pleasure to hear. On behalf of both of them and myself, I thank you. Now, without further ado, let us speak of that which Brother Yusumi sent you here to learn. I trust you did not find it strange to be asked to tend a tree when your lesson this day concerns the element of water. One need not have studied botany to realise that the forest requires more than rich soil to flourish. Water is essential for carrying the nutrients in the earth from a tree's roots all the way to the very tips of its leaves. This precious liquid is the lifeblood of the Twelve's Wood. Without it, naught would grow. But should it rise in too great a volume and too swiftly, the nourishing flow will become a crushing wave that washes away all before it. It is important to realise that all of nature is in balance. As conjury derives its power from nature, we must take care not to use our art in a manner like to disrupt this state. Ever must we be mindful of the ceaseless tug of war embodied in creation. 
this fruitful stalemate of the elements. Robert Jorzen, are you about? I am here, sir. What has transpired? I heard a young antelope stags has gone berserk. I don't know what's got him so panicked, but there's no calm in him now. The mad beast scored the soldiers sent to shepherd him away from civilian settlements, leaving us with a pile of wounded over at Jocelyn Spire, and not enough hands to staunch the bleeding. We need a healer, and fast. Curious, I sense nothing amiss in the whisperings of the elementals. What could have frightened these antelopes so? Ah, apologies, I shall revisit these musings anon. Let us make haste. If matters are as chaotic as you say, I fear the number of injured may be rising as we speak. I doubt that we two will suffice. We must divide our forces. Elric, travel straight away to Jocelyn's Spire and tend to the wounded. I shall endeavour to rally further healers and follow after you bearing what restorative unguents I can. You sir, head to Stillglade Fane and beseech the aid of Brewery Sumi. Right, so uh, let's see. We need to just go behind here, trial by water. Uh, speak with Anawid at Jocelyn's Spire. So uh, I guess it's just up this uh, little ramp here. Yeah, this will probably be the spire, I guess. Uh, is it, uh, yeah, I guess it must be inside. You what? I conjure you, say. Praise no figure. You've come no moment too soon. Sounds like yet more wounded have just been carried in. Pray offer them what aid you can. Uh, right. Ain't carried in. Oh, right, there we go. <laughs> uh, that's cure. Alright. Uh, why didn't that not... Why didn't that target them? Never mind. <laughs> I I can breathe again. Thank you. Uh, these folk are out of danger for the present, but I fear our reprieve shall be brief. The battle of the stags yet rages, and there are reports of yet more wounded. I bid you join the wood whalers and help put an end to this. Seek them just off the road that leads to the northeast. And do not worry, my art should be sufficient to prevent matters from worsening here. Now go. Okie dokie. Uh, the northeast of here? I'm not seeing anything to the northeast. Uh, Alright, more east than northeast, but uh, never mind. Not very clear instructions there, mate, but uh, it'll have to do. Oh god, I'm going to break my legs jumping off here, aren't I? Uh, not as bad as I thought. Right, sprint our way over there and uh, pass through this fate, and nobody's doing it. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, Oh god, level 17 is please don't kill me as I pass through. Yeah, I think... Oh no, no, he's not aggressive. Oh boy, and I went and attacked him anyways. Let's just keep running. Pretend that never happened. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Oh no, he's left us alone. We were going to have a lot of trouble there if we had to face that guy and this guy at the same time. Especially seeing as this one's a level 20. <laughs> oh, get out of that. Oh, I'm still in it a little bit. Right, and that's him out of the way. So uh, let's just head around here. Give myself a quick heal before anything else decides to uh, pull. <laughs> right, uh, speak with you. Oh, and there's Sylphie. Come to lend a hand, have you? Quickly, the fight is this way. Uh, proceed. Man, those uh, textures are pretty horrendous, jeez. <laughs> wow, these guys are getting massacred. <laughs> Conjurer, your aid. Uh, 
let's kill these overgrown uh, goats, antelopes. The soldier needs all my attention. Please help the other wood whalers. Don't worry. Do uh, you mean that I should be healing these guys or just uh, get rid of the antelopes? I think we've got to focus on the antelopes, don't we? There's one down. And let's start on the other ones. Actually, let's finish this guy off first. He's nearly dead. Alright, and uh, target this one. Oh, and there's another one just popped up in the distance there. Another couple, in fact. <laughs> Stand firm! Alright, uh, get rid of him. Oh, why is my uh, arrow not going off? Thank you. <laughs> Alright, how we're doing? Yeah, uh, still quite. Wait, where the heck did that water spirit come from? I saw the uh, area of effect come from behind me, but I didn't think it was a uh, extra mob that wasn't an antelope. <laughs> right. Uh, hang in there, Mr. Wood Whaler. There's a healer for you. Uh, oh my god, where do all these water spirits keep coming from? As if it wasn't bad enough to deal with the antelope. <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, let's get out of that. Nope, you're not dying today. Not today, thank you. Ow. Nope. Uh, I wish I had a stronger cure. That would help a lot. You're taking so much healing to keep alive, but you're not going to die. Not as long as I've still got mana anyways. <laughs> That's a potion, not an ether. So uh, that wouldn't have helped, but uh, I think we're safe. Yep, duty complete. Oh, did we still lose someone? Yeah, he's about to get revived, it looks like. <coughs> Miss? Yeah, I think you were warned about this, weren't you, Sylvie? I... I'm fine. Don't mind me. Pray tell me that we are not too late. Sylvie, what have you done? I forbid you from using such... such... Methods. Guildmaster. I will not say you repeat your mother's mistakes. My mother never did anything wrong. Elric, may I ask that you follow her? Please. I fear my presence will only serve to provoke her further. She cannot have gone far in a weakened state. Yeah, I guess so. Right, so, uh, oh, just straight ahead. He was right when he said she hasn't gone far. <laughs> I don't understand. When I try to cast spells, nothing happens. When I reach for my power, there's just nothing there. Is this what the Guildmaster was trying to warn me about? He said I was repeating my mother's mistakes. The same thing happened to her. Losing her magic, I mean. And then she... Am I going to die? This can't be happening. I didn't think... Please, I need to be alone. Hmm. Uh, um... Um... So, it's still Glade Fane. Where are you hanging out this time, Mr. Brovery? Oh, wait, is that 
Oh yeah, it is good on you. Yeah, so it's back in town. Uh, and of course, if one's just for the uh, the main story quest. A little bit confused when I saw uh, Still Glade, Fe Still Glade Fane there. I uh, didn't realize that that was actually what the Conjurer's uh, location was called. <laughs> right, uh, Conjurer's Guild. Norfolk as Altar, and Still Glade Fane. Right, uh, nearly there. Elric, you have returned at last. Were you able to speak with Sylphie? Yep, I uh, was. I see. I once taught you that conjurers harness the power of nature that we might bring about change. Earth, wind, water, healing. The principle is no different. For the art of mending, we draw on the boundless life force of nature and bestow it upon the wounded. Sylphia has never sought to borrow from that bounty. Her power to heal stems from her own life force. The vital energies of mortals are however finite, and now that which I most feared has come to pass. Her mother unwittingly took her own life through the continued use of her healing skills, and Sylphia's aptitude for the art is, if anything, even greater. Thus, it is not unexpected that she should reach the limits of her strength at a much earlier age. If we do not intervene, this terrible tragedy will be repeated, and I for one could not bear to see the child suffer the same fate as her mother. I shall think on a solution to this dark dilemma. It may be that I will have need of your assistance in the near future, Elric. Do not doubt your abilities. You are a conjurer who has passed the trials of earth, wind and water. You grow closer to nature with every passing day, and I sense within you the seeds of greatness. In your encounter with water, you learned its role as a bringer of life, but you also felt the implacable power of a surging wave as it swept you along in its path. Like earth and wind and nature at large, the element of water is possessed of more than one aspect. Having completed the third lesson, I am satisfied that you have mastered the fundamentals of conjury. In recognition of this feat, the spell Fluid Aura is now yours to command. Yet this is but the beginning of your journey. Henceforth, you must strive to attune yourself ever more closely to the elements and to nature. Alright, so I uh, got a few uh, items that we're going to be given regardless, including the fluid or I'm still not sure what it means by binding the target. Binds the target. Um, uh, now let's see. We just got a hoodie before, didn't we? So this is probably uh, yeah, it's basically identical to the one that we just got, apart from uh, the dye color. So we won't choose that option. What's these uh, gloves like? Uh. Very small upgrade with materia slots as well. The pants are basically the same sort of upgrade, but with two materia slots as well. So yeah, more or less the same sort of quality as uh, the gloves. Even the defense stats are more or less the same. I'm guessing these are going to be very similar to my boots as well. Note the boots are vitality, intelligence, mind, almost identical apart from determination. And the defense. Can't remember what determination does, so let me see. We'll take the. Let's see what they look like. Oh. Uh, Alright, so it's just the gloves don't have much of an appearance because they're so small. And the pants. I don't think it really matters what the pants look like. If we're wearing a big robe, they'll probably be uh, covered up. But we'll go with the pants. <laughs> Right, uh, so the next quest is uh, going to be at 20, it's always every 5 loves I believe, so yeah, can't do anything with that for the time being. Let's uh, update our gear, vitality, mind and piety, uh, so basically exactly the same apart from one extra mind stat and a materia slot, and uh, intelligence, mind, direct hit, uh, intelligence, mind, direct so that's basically the same again, just plus one vitality in the materia slot. So yeah, it's definitely pushing us towards the uh, materia stuff at the moment. Right, equip the recommend gear, update the set, 
and we shall start heading uh, back for Limsa Luminsa. So there it is, and we'll teleport there now. Right, um, let's have a look at our journal, see where that is. Uh, Western Lanoskia, we don't have a teleport location for that. So, what's the best way to get there? Lemsa uh, Western, West, Western Lanoskia, um, Western Lanoskia, so, yeah. We want to be heading to the ferry docks, which is where we were before. Yes, I remember now. So, Fisherman's Guild. And Ethernet. Fisherman's Guild. And find the ferry. It's around here somewhere. There it is. And speak with you. Uh, oh, I think it was Aleport, wasn't it? Western Lanos here? Yeah, Aleport. This ferry is bound for Aleport. Are you riding with us? I am indeed, thank you very much. Alright, we'll just uh, head up to where the main quest location is. And then uh, I think we'll be calling up an episode as we're uh, very close to the half an hour mark, if not over it. So uh, just get a sprint going on, and I think there's an Ethernet shard here, yep, so we'll claim that as well while we're at it. And the Chocobo Keep so that we've got access to our uh, flight path, if you want to call them that. Right, that's that registered. And register, oh, that's a very pretty looking mount, or is that just the place? No, I think it's the, the mount with the player on top there. <laughs> And that's that Ethernet shard registered for uh, easier travel in the future. Whoop, sorry, Mr. Chocobo. <laughs> and Hall of the Novice. He's probably just going to tell us the same information as the guy back in Gridania. Uh, uh, just tell me about uh, dungeons, I think. Now I've access to the Hall of the Novice register for training exercise by speaking with one of the smiths or select Hall of the Novice located under duty in the main menu. Right, so uh, we'll call that an episode and we'll see you guys next time.